Hello, CPTI students. Lecture two begins. Are you ready? Well, ready or not, here it goes. Uh, let's share my <clears throat> lecture here. On lecture two, research method, it begins, continues. I mean, so uh, let's start with the prayer. Maybe prayer is good always. Uh, Holy Spirit, God, come help us and teach us how to research that we may serve our people better. We need your wisdom, oh God. Come, fill us with your anointing and favor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, uh, I'm so excited that uh, we could do our uh, lecture again. Well, let's start with round of applause, yay. <laughs> um, we're continuing with our research method Part two, step two, do your literature review. The homework that I gave you uh, uh, the last lecture is very simple. You just need to write this outline, research thesis writing step, you know, just copy all this, type it. But then each 30 minutes, you fill in all the major points I made for yourself, not for me. Of course, at the end, end you know, when I see you uh, 14 lecture later, I would like to see, maybe it'll be five, maybe 10 pages, I don't know just or even less, but doesn't matter as long as it makes sense to you. Because when you use that outline and maybe hopefully that you could do your 10 page uh, paper for this class, and then you expand on that and maybe you could publish your master thesis, uh, just like Sarah and Marino. Uh, maybe I could help you with that. So yeah, do a good, be a good uh, student and then uh, do that because this book literally comes out of uh, this book that I, I wrote uh, for the class, of course, it's not, we're not gonna use it fully because it's a bit complicated, but I think it's good enough to have a reference uh, because this book actually comes out of several books that I have written. The first is, of course, I wrote another book on qualitative research method uh, and my PhD uh, program and my uh, and a lot of that uh, comes out of that. And my, my book on patron client is from Regnum from England. And then uh, a dependency you see in Cambodia also. So I've combined all these things for this lecture so that you could get out of, and most likely after this lecture that I could then sort out based on research and thesis writing steps that we could do a simpler version for maybe undergrad at uh, CP, uh, CPTI. But anyways, you have to now do the uh, uh, literature review. What is a literature review? Literature review is simple. You simply read, as much as you can from everywhere, especially library. So there are several ways. And of course you start with library uh, and make reading list of all the books that you must read on the topic, right? And the art of reading is something I taught at RUPP as well with my students. Um, and you must make a, a reading list. What, what is the reading list? Oh, well, every books you could find on the topic, make a list, right? Well, in, in your case, there is only three categories you could research from for my class. Uh, one is creation narrative or creation story, Bible story of from the creation, how God created the world from a Cambodian zero-ness perspective, meaning that for Kamai, the, the, the unit zero is so un, means always something. So how could we create something out of nothing when we say that God created universe out of nothing? when nothing is always something to come my people. So it's very interesting uh, theological debate, of course, philosophical too. Second category is patron-client relationship uh, and church planting in Cambodia. That's, uh, if you wanna use that, sure, you could use my book uh, and every first. If you wanted to uh, do things on the zero-ness, that you could talk to Sarat and then maybe he could come and you know, lecture you or uh, work with you on that. If you want to write on the third issue, a dependency issue, sure, you could actually uh, use this book on a dependency issue and write your thesis. So, but you need to come up with major, major uh, uh, list of the books you want to read. Well, you first have to go visit your libraries, which is I, which is what I do when I research. I go to my library. This is library in Cerritos in America. So I would ride my motorcycle, go there. Beautiful library, huge library with lots of books. They got children's uh, library with 
tens of thousands of children's books and, and literally millions of books here. Are you impressed? No, you should be. I love libraries. You should love libraries too. Well, CPTI also has a, a library, not too many volumes, but hey, but you got CDRI, right? Cambodia Development Resource Center. I was so impressed when I visited there. You should definitely go visit if you have not yet. Uh, and a uh, few of my friends, these are my CRRC friends, Cambodia Resource and Research Center friends. And said, you know what, as a researcher in Cambodia, we really need to visit and see what kind of resource uh, Cambodian scholars have. So we visited um, oh, a beautiful campus. I said, I told my wife, Jenny, we need a center like this. I want my uh, CRRC uh, campus to be this big and have this many books and it was awesome. And uh, we, we enter and of course, you know, my library. Uh, and then I, I met uh, my friends there, my friend, uh, the woman friend who was already researching. She's a Korean missionary, but she was already doing some research on the topic and wow, they have uh, um, all these books beautifully arranged um, and I was impressed uh, really. And then they have uh, CDR publication because I read a lot of CDR publication. That's why I wanted to visit and have this um, books after books after books. Um, not a whole lot of volume uh, compared to uh, other libraries, but I mean, for Cambodia research, wow, that was pretty good, right? And so, and they even had a new Chinese section and behind the door is the whole China study. Bas basically China gave a lot of money to CDRI to start a China study you know, sec section. I love this art as well. Especially most impressive was CDRI publication because that's the direction we all need to take. We need to publish, publish, publish. Uh, and, and through book format also not through electronic format because uh, all these things are valid. These are very important. I was very impressed. And then I went to Siem Reap and went to Nor uh, Northern uh, Sion Moni of Cambodia Library of Center for Khmer Studies. Have you been there? you should definitely make a visit. As an academia, as a student, uh, we need to be familiarizing with library system in your country. Of course, this uh, Center for Khmer Studies, CDRI, they work together. Um, they also do not have that many books, but well, at least uh, making effort. Library collection room, we visited. And uh, actually because of the damp and the rats, got in and then they uh, destroyed some of the work. It was heartbreaking. Uh, like it was designed by Laos history and history of Vietnam. So it was quite well organized. Once again, not too many books. Well, what about Oxford? You know, I studied eight years there, two years living there and actually studying these libraries. It's amazing library, the world's largest library. They have the most books in the world. They, the bookshelf, you know how long their bookshelf full of books? If you put all the bookshelves in one line, 160 kilometers. You know what 160 kilometers is? It's uh, three hours and 38 minute drive from Phnom Penh, all the way up to, uh, you could almost reach Batambang. That's just putting books in one row. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's unbelievable. 160 kilometers of books at Oxford Library. So, are you depressed? I'm like, oh, oh, that I cannot really do research because I don't have access to books. Yeah, if it was 20 years ago, you couldn't really research without going to library. So 20 years ago, yeah, sorry, but not anymore. Because second, uh, we could use internet search. Now, this is a powerful tool right now, uh, more powerful than anything that that, you, uh, that uh, humanity has invented. I'm so happy that I'm living at this era as a scholar because Google came up with Google Scholar. Have you used that? Okay, this is very important. If you have not used Google Scholar and all your search was done through Google, then you are missing a whole lot of uh, academic world. You must do research through Google Scholar. Okay, so just go into your website you know, uh, uh, internet and just 
type Google Scholar and the Google Scholar section will pop. You click there and this is what you're gonna get, right? Uh, and then you need to type in the keywords. For example, if you wanna write a book on a dependency of Cambodia, then you need to type the keywords, Cambodia aid dependency, okay? What is most important word here, Cambodia? Because aid dependency is not Cambodian specific, only not Cambodians have aid dependency issue. You know, other countries, India has it, you know, Vietnam has it, Thailand has it, Africa has it. So if you just put aid dependency, then the keyword is not going to be able to sort out. So you type in Cambodia first and then put a dependency and then click and then you're going to find 26,000 hit. Wow, that's a lot of paper and books you need to read. 26,000, 26,800 results, right? <laughs> that's within less than one second they found. That's unbelievable. So uh, yeah, you don't have 160 kilometer of books at Oxford, but digitally, now you sort through the key text or books or articles or a study on Cambodia and aid issues, you found 26,800. Huh. How are you gonna read all that? Absolutely, you cannot read all that, right? So uh, then I put, okay, then what about change the topping to Cambodia aid dependency and Christian churches, right? Well, then 12,000, books and articles came. Okay, oh, wait a minute. When I type Cambodia, a dependency, Christian churches, guess what the first thing that popped? My book, my, my article, the role of Patriots Father in church planning efforts in Cambodia, ROH means Robert O. 19, 2019, academia.edu. Whoa, that's crazy. And the third one was also my patron client relation cross-cultural church planting case study of Cambodia Bible College. That's SOH, my Korean name, Sokwano, 2018, ePrints. That's my entire PhD up there. You could download my entire PhD of 300 pages, free of charge. The third thing was also core, a this is Sokwan Robert O, and core AC UK means England. There are some agency, they decide to post my, my study. So this is amazing that you could actually sort through keywords in Google Scholar, and you could download, I mean, you have 12,000 books and articles. You could base your next book on, on a dependency of Cambodia. Or you could argue that we are not dependent. Well, then you better do your literature review well. Right? You cannot just say, I think, well, I don't care how you think, you need to back up academically with other literature. That's why it's called literature review. Uh, find all the books. So I decide, what about Cambodia in Khmer? So I type up Cambodia in Khmer. I think that's how I Google translate Cambodia. And there was only 24 results. Okay. And so uh, that's why I think as a Khmer scholar, you must write continuously and represent your country as Khmer person. So now you make this huge uh, book list. For example, I usually, when I write a book, I usually go through 100, 120 books, okay? For example, on tithing, I wrote a book on tithing and the way that you do that is come up with all the reading list, about 100 plus books. You could do that. Remember you, for example, I show you, right? You got 16,000 list. So you go through and then you find out, how do you, how do you make the reading list? You skim them, see so that you, you have all this, books that you want to, you need to skim them. What is skimming, okay? Skimming is, um, or we call it ransack, okay? Or make a logical choice. You went to a store and you want to get a TV, then you don't go to radio section, right? You don't go to computer section. Where do you go to? You go to TV section. So when you have 16,000 books and you're, interest is a dependency, Cambodia and churches. Then you look for the keywords that's gonna pop, right? And then you sort that and then you categorize it. You bring that to your uh, list, 
And that's the book that you're going to go back. That's called skimming or ransacking. For example, okay, do you, do you like amok? I love amok. So let's say you have to make an amok for dinner. Okay? This is a very uh, simple, practical example. So, okay, you need to make amo and you don't have any ingredient at home. So you go to, of course, lucky store. Um, you walk in and do you look for ingredient for amo in fruit section? I mean, if you spend, if you tell me that, oh yeah, I'm going to make amo for tonight and then spend 20, 20 hours at a fruit section, I'll say something when something's all right with you. You want to make amok, right? Yes. So why did you spend 20 hours at a fruit section? Is amok made out of fruit? No, fish. Then why are you looking at amok ingredient in fruit section? I don't know. Well, <laughs> what about, would you go to meat section where they sell sausages? Yeah, it's nice, sausage is good, but you cannot make amok with sausages, right? Uh, well, I would go and to and see if there have any sales on the fish. <laughs> and if they don't have sales on the fish, then I'll go to the pond, right? Russian market, fish section. This is the fish, sec fish, fish section of the pond, isn't it? So what's my point? Point is, you are, you know exactly what you want because you have a research question. And out of the research question, you have a category, which category? And out of the category, you have a general question, specific question. Now you have all that down. Now you're reading based on your notes about what you want to get. So read the title. If the title doesn't have your theme, throw it out. Publication date. If it's the oldest, like if it's ancient, like 100 years, usually contemporary research, you cannot really use that old. So throw that out. Publisher, is it legitimate publisher? You know, is it something that you know that an Oxford's good? You know, all these legitimate public keep it. You know, and, and, and of course, Asia. That's why CD, the CDRI, when I read CDRI that I buy, because CDRI is a trustworthy publisher. Read the table of content. Does your table of content have any of your keywords that you're trying to research? If it doesn't, throw it away, right? And then read the major theme, keywords in the, each chapters, you know, in the table of content. Does it really address amok or is it sausage or is it fruit? Fruit's good, sausage is good, but you're trying to make amok. Look for the fish and read the conclusion. What is conclusion say? Read the introduction and conclusion well. They said, oh, okay, this, this book is trying. So you could actually skim through one book in three minutes, four minutes. Not this one, not this one, not this one. And oh, this one has all the key element. It has fish in it. It has coconut. <laughs> it has a uh, banana leaf. Okay, okay, good. Then I need, I keep, I keep, right? And then, and then read the bibliography, the last section of the has all the bibliography. And so by reading the bibliography, you could pretty much tell what this book was written about. Right? This book is written by bibliography. Right? Read that. And then make a quick decision, read or not to read. Don't linger. Just make a quick, quick, quick decision, throw out, throw out, and keep only those that you want to read. The skimming is not reading. Skimming is deciding whether you want to read or not. Yeah, I hope you get this. Because if you spend 50 minutes to see if you want to read or not, then you'll never get to read. Because how are you going to go through 16,000 books, right? But you must choose logically, reasonably, intellectually, rationally, right? And also inspired by God. Choose what you are going to read, right? So you kind of choose, 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 choose. And out of about 100 books, 120 books, I chose 12. 12 books I'm going to read now. Now, even reading is not cover to cover. Read parts, not whole. What do I mean by that? Exactly same principle. Exactly same principle. Read part, not whole is you take out what you want. Remember I told you, you want to get a TV. Then you get TV out from that, right? Not anything else. TV or amo in your case. You are making an amo for dinner. 
So out of that book, let's consider one book as a lucky supermarket. Then don't go to fruit section. Don't go to meat section. You're not looking for sausages. You're looking for fish. So out of the book, look for the fish, right? And take it out, take it out. And then argue with the author as you read. What do I mean by that? The author says this, and then he said, I disagree because of these reasons. And then, or I agree because of these reasons and write them down. Make notes why you read, very important. Because as you read, argue, this is very important. So let's, let's do that again, okay. Um, you are now not reading the whole book. So you're just reading, this is only one book now, okay? So you got a book, let's say this book. Okay, you got my book. I, I don't want you to read from cover to cover because it's going to take you, I don't know, it's 100 pages, whatever. It's going to take you a couple hours, right? Or at least three, four hours. And then you're going to forget what you're about. What, 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 you know, it's like going into a supermarket and walk every aisle. And then by the time you walk every aisle, you forgot why you're there. Oh, I'm here to make amo. See? So you need to approach this book, one book, as going to get my TV. Or I'm going to get my amo ingredient. So out of this book, this book is a supermarket now. And then don't wait, waste your time at fruit section or sausage section. Go directly to fruit, the, the fish, fish section and take out. Take out. And then argue with me. I disagree with what you wrote here. Patron client does not exist in Cambodia. Or I agree, yes, patron client does exist. And these are the reasons why. And then you actively write notes. You must write notes, right? You make notes <laughs> while you read and argue. Very, very important. Okay, write your book, use blank sheet in front, just blank sheet, you know, in front of, in front of this book that you're going to get, they should always have a blank sheet like this, right? Use that as no, I always write my argument, disagreement. I just put a page number, page what? I disagree, page number, I agree, and then interact with that. And then make, uh, use page markers, right? Tag it so that, you know, what you're referring to. And of course, thirdly, post-it memo to write your main thoughts. Because once you do that, okay, you, you are reading 12 books and then argue and make notes and you write the post-it, 3M post-it, you know, they sell this in, in every store you've been to. Because once you do that, then you could rearrange your train of thoughts later. So all your, like, for example, this is my patron client wall. I said, everything that I thought about my patron client, this book comes out. My 300 doctoral thesis comes out, out of that wall. And, and I write, you know, okay, this is what patron client is. This is, someone wrote this, someone wrote that. And then, and I just make the argument. Okay, simple, if you know how. And so, the art of reading is you make the reading list, right? Hundreds of them. And then you skim that, right? Throw out, throw out. Okay, this one I keep. I am going to make amo. So forget the meat, sausage, fruit. Oh, fish, another fish, right? And then you choose what you're going to read. Out of that 120, now you're gonna choose 12. Even the 12, you're not gonna read the whole book. You're going to read parts, parts, part, you know? Your specific question, remember? Your research question, your specific questions. Based on that, you take out, take out, write notes, write notes, and argue with the author. I agree, I disagree. I agree, I disagree. And write them down. So this book, I agree on this point, I disagree. On this book, I agree, I disagree. On this book, I agree and I disagree. On this book, I agree, I disagree. I, on this book, I agree, disagree. On this book, I agree, disagree. So after 12 books like that, guess what? I wrote a book on tithing, right? I read everything about tithing, skimmed thousands of books, came up with 120 books, 
Out of 120, I read 12 books, only parts. And then I agree, I disagree, I agree, I disagree. And then wrote a book on tidying. Both I wrote in English, then became a Kamai, and Kamai to English, to Korea. So I got, this book is in three languages, Korean, Kamai, English. It's all published. So it's not something that, I, oh, that's, that's what I heard people do. No, it's something I use almost daily, right? And this research pr principle. So for you to come up with 10 page, uh, 10 page uh, writing, I think it will be very simple. But I, I'm not going for the 10 page paper that you're going to do. I, I want to help you with your 70, 80 page master thesis. Okay. So uh, that's your literature review. Wow. I don't know how much time I have. Uh, let me see. I don't know. I wonder if this recording time is given. It's not. So I don't know how, how much time I, I used. But uh, so I think it's a good time to kind of stop and reflect. Um, yeah. So let's do the screen sharing again. Um, because I'm going to review. Oops. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. So I think the uh, sharing, once I get out, I couldn't go back. I, I, I didn't know that. So anyways, so for you, uh, today's homework will be also same. What you learned today, put it right as a note. Be a copy. Spend more time writing notes, writing notes, articulating. Try to write what you understood. Okay? It's not how much you hear. It's how much you retain. It's not how much water that I could throw at you, how much you could get at the cup. That's only, you know, I don't care if you're at the Niagara Fall, the waterfall. If this is the only capacity you have, this is the only thing you're gonna get, right? So, right, 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 right. And uh, I'll see you at next lecture. See you later.